rustig zeg je af uh, en je hoort ze veel. Nee, hier is niet meer in. Prima hè. Oh, en het praat is nu echt wel een beetje te Nice. <laughs> Hello, I'm Eva O. Thank you for coming to my Facebook page and clicking that like button below. Also, you can subscribe to my YouTube. You might be watching it on YouTube. Here's the thing. I've been out of touch with uh, modern technology when it comes to social networking. I'm just now getting the hang of this thing now and the resistance has melted away. Yours? Nah. With your help. Nerfish beliefs are way to them. You list venues that you know, different people, different uh, friends you have that listen to this kind of sound or style. Um, that would help. As a trying to find my audience, especially before I go out on the road. It's crucial to be in touch with everyone to let them know that we are on our way. So this uh, portion of the day, I went churning away at uh, get my tentacles out there. Also, I'm going to answer questions. We have placed a few songs on the Eva O site. Um, we're going through the history of my musical career. Holy Hell. Holy Hell is about Ricky Casso, as an asshole. Yeah, but do you know who he is? Okay. Didn't think so. Holding You Close. We put this one up right after the last video short I did. This song is very heartfelt love song. This song I wrote while I was in Super Heroines and while probably towards the very end of it, right before me and Roz moved to San Francisco. I have this thing with getting a little too obsessed. Nah. I've thought of uh, the coffin and a death how that is the closest you can get to your uh, obsession. I would not say love, but love. Yeah, so it's about a murder. It's about it's about a love gone to the extreme, and it's about a little bit of a touched head thinking that <laughs> was holding you close directed at a specific person well it was directed at every person that I had an obsession with and the story is you gotta realize that every song 
is a painting of I could portray my feelings or my view on things. You don't really have to take things literally, <laughs> but I'm sure people will. Holding you close is a tragic obsession where the person feels that they'll never get what they want until they apply death. It's a desperate, desperate song. It's not here to must be used, but was it my situation that the person can't uh, find a way out of being trapped in one view, in one obsession, and one goal. Holding you close is a very grim type of love. It's a love where the one side feels that they've never ever will be able to have the one they see as, as their salvation, their uh, fuel for life and so the only way this person sees that they will be able to have total control and own this person this soul is to take their life and place them within themselves as a coffin and live for eternity as they rot together underground good good um, Good movie making material, I think, but um, not in the movie making business yet. So, uh, anyways, another question I um, had up on my page was How do I feel about Jutandam? Yeah. Same as I feel about anybody. There's no. I sometimes feel that everybody wants to make everything catty, and you know, that's not me. Don't be really the zoomies. I was. Fell down the natural few members of Iowa. Few members I'm that. Bro, I'm not really running. I need to buy me. Revenge that revenge it. No. So, moving on has nothing to do with my my world, really. What are my favorite bands? And in the past or present? Well, is there for second? No. I mean, that's a really hard question to answer. Um. Well. I, I like progressive rock. I like uh, dark metal. I like dark music. Um, I would say that uh, yeah. Uh, Have you liked all the new pictures I put up? Well, they're not new, they're old. But I hope you're enjoying them, and I thank everybody for the response and for the interaction that I'm seeing. I guess there is something to uh, this whole FB thing, you know? If you do something, something happens. It's kind of the way life, kind of, if you really look at it. It's adult a lot into the Shadow Project. And that was one of my favorite bands that I put together. 
My favorite lineup was William Faith, uh, Stephen Gray, Paris Adonis, Roz, and me. And for reasons unknown, it just had to stop at that point. Um, the songs that were put up are some of my very favorites. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, thank you again. See you next week on Evo. Facebook.